in this application, only the pole method with more circle is given attention to. For detailed information regarding more circle, please refer to the literature. Let me first give a brief introduction to the pole method with more circle. The pole method with more circle is a simple but efficient graphical procedure to find the stresses acting at arbitrarily oriented plane. More circle is thrown in a coordinate system with the normal stress as a theta and the shear stress as ordinate. The coordinates of more circle points represent the normal stress sigma and the shear stress tau acting at planes with different orientations at a point P in the stress field around the tunnel. The pole is a special point on more circle. Any straight line drawn from the pole intersects more circle at a point which gives a stress state sigma tau acting at the plane inclined parallel to that line. The following introduction explains how to find more circle, the pole and the stresses acting at arbitrarily oriented planes. To apply the pole method, the stresses at the point P together with the orientation of the planes at which they are acting must be known. Let's assume we know the stresses and their orientations at the point P according to this infinitesimal element shown. This element is rotated at an angle of 50 degrees with respect to the horizontal x-axis. To find the pole, the procedure is as follows. Draw a diagram with the normal stress as abscissa and the shear stress as ordinate. The scale of abscissa and ordinate must be identical. In the diagram, insert the stresses as points with the coordinates of normal and shear stress. Connect the two stress points. The center of Moore circle is the intersection of this connection line with the abscissa. Moore circle is now defined by its center and radius. Draw a parallel line to the element's plane at which the stresses SM and SML are acting through the corresponding stress point. The intersection of this line with more circle represents a pole. Draw a parallel line to the element's plane at which the stresses SL and SLM are acting through the corresponding stress point. The intersection of this line with more circle must be the pole as well. Since a rectangular infinitesimal element is used, the pole must lie on a tail circle. To find the stresses acting at the vertical and horizontal planes of this element, draw parallel lines to the element's planes through the pole. The line parallel to the vertical plane intersects more circle at the coordinates normal stress Sx and shear stress Sxy. The line parallel to the horizontal plane intersects more circle at the coordinates normal stress Sy and shear stress Syx. In the application, the opposite procedure is shown. Given all the stresses Sx, Sy and Sxy acting at the vertical and horizontal planes respectively of the element, the stresses at the 50 degrees rotated element are to be determined. The procedure is identical with the previous one. More circle is found with the stress points Sx, Sxy and Sy, Syx. The pole is found with the intersections of more circle and the lines drawn parallel to the elements horizontal and vertical planes through the corresponding stress points. The stresses Sm, Sml and Sl, Slm are found with the lines through the pole parallel to the planes of the 50 degrees rotated element. In sheet initial stress I specify the point at the distance r equal to 6 meters from the tunnel center with the direction theta equal to 35 degrees and change now to sheet more circle. In this sheet, only the pole method with more circle is covered. For detailed information regarding more circle, please refer to the literature. 
updated Mohr circle chart with a pole is automatically generated when selecting a new points position in sheet initial stress. The diagram shows a points Mohr circle and the pole construction using the horizontal and vertical stresses acting at the corresponding planes. The intersections of Mohr circle with the abscissa represents a major and minor principal stresses S1 and S2 respectively. The magenta connection lines from the pole to the principal stresses S1 and S2 shows the inclinations of the plane at which the principal stresses are acting. S1 acts at a plane with this inclination and S2 acts at a plane with this inclination. As per definition of principal stresses, no shear stress is acting at planes parallel to the magenta lines. I specify now an element rotation of plus 50 degrees counterclockwise. In Moore circles chart, the black dashed lines represent the orientations of the two planes at which the rotated stresses are acting. The coordinates of the intersection points of the black dashed lines with Moore circle represent the magnitudes of normal and shear stresses SL, SLM, and SM, SML. The indexes L and M designate the axis of the rotated coordinate system. An additional chart shows the rotated infinitesimal element with the stressing acting at the element's planes. The element sides are parallel to the black dashed lines in the Mohr circle chart. The values of the rotated stresses SL, SM and SLM are equal to the stress coordinates in the Mohr circle chart. The lengths of the stress vectors can be adjusted to the chart's size using the zoom factor. When changing the zoom factor, the command button rotate element must be clicked. In this cell, the rotation angle is given for the principal stresses. I copy the value to the input form for the rotation angle. Since Excel uses positive angles clockwise, the sign of this value has to be inverted. For this rotation, the black dashed line must overlay the magenta lines. I copy the element with the principal stresses from sheet initial stress to this chart to visualize the orientation of the principal stresses acting at the corresponding plane's orientations. S1 at this plane and S2 at this plane. Several rotations can be carried out for the actual stress point, let's say 60 degrees and 80 degrees. For each rotation, the graphical pole method is simulated and the rotated element with the stresses is shown in the chart to the right. The charts showing the rotated element are superimposed. To visualize previous rotations, use the Excel delete and to step forward again, use undo in the toolbar of Excel's home ribbon.